Hello, the winter FabFitFun box is here. And as we do each season, we're gonna go through this box to determine if the items that I end up keeping and will actually use give me the true value out of my box. I always give you my 100% honest thoughts about the products that I pick and get in my FabFitFun boxes. This is in partnership with FabFitFun and that's one reason why I continue to work with them is because I can share my honest thoughts with you. Customization opens tomorrow, November 2nd, and I'll show you all of the items that that you can choose from to customize your own box. Because I'm an annual member, I was able to customize my entire box, but if you are a seasonal subscriber, you can still customize four of your choices and have the other products curated by FabFitFun. So if you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it's a little bit different from other subscription boxes in a few ways. Aside from the customization options, it's a seasonal subscription box that comes out four times a year and includes full-sized beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and wellness products to name a few. Each of these seasonal subscription boxes has a value up to $300 and is $49.99. And they're running a limited time offer for the holidays where you can get a free mini box worth up to $100 with my code STEFF. When you sign up for a seasonal membership, I'll have the link and my code down below in the description box. Most times a single item or two is worth more than what you actually pay for the box. And I do pay for a box myself out of my own pocket. I get one for this video, but I pay for one myself that I give to a relative. So I do want to make sure that I'm getting my money out of each of these seasonal subscription boxes. If you're in the US, UK, or Canada and you want more details or pricing options, be sure and check out my link down below and my code where you can get your free mini box worth up to $100. Now let's see what I picked and what I ended up with in my winter box. Every subscriber can customize the product selection in this first category, both annual and seasonal subscribers. And I think there are some really great products here for yourself or to give as a gift. And I do look at some of these products that I get in these boxes as giftable options. So the first thing that I noticed is a product that I have two of and I got them from FabFitFun and they're some of the most used products in our home. It's the Unhide Little Marshmallow Blanket. And there are three color options available in charcoal, rose, or silver. It's a six $65 value. This is the most fought over blanket in our house. It is so soft and cozy, but it's not heavy or stifling. It was really tempting to go for a third because I love this blanket so much, but we really don't need it since we have the other two and we have other blankets in the house too. You could also choose a Herschel tote with a $59.99 value. Herschel is a great brand. Sunday Riley, a really nice high-end skincare brand, has two selections in this category. The Luna Sleeping Night Oil oil worth $55 or the A plus high dose retinoid serum worth $85. Or you could choose a summer and rose robe worth $70 or a short stories travel blanket in ruby wine worth $68. I ended up going with the Mark and Graham electric wine opener worth $49. I think these make great gifts, but this is for me because our wine opener has been acting kind of funny. So I was really glad that this was a selection. I love having an electric wine opener. It just makes things so much easier. It has a little foil cutter that's attached to the bottom. You just kind of squeeze it and pop it off. So I was really, really happy with that choice and that just gave me the value out of my box. Now, if you're not seeing the same product choices that I'm showing you throughout this video, if you have some variation, because of supply chain issues that are happening in every industry and are affecting some vendors, some of your choices may look slightly different, but FabFitFun will substitute other choices for you to select from. All subscribers could customize their product choice in category two as well. I'll start with the Glamnetic Magnetic Eyelashes and Eyeliner Pen worth $72.98, which might be really great for the holidays, actually. You could also choose a four-piece silicone utensil set in either red or gray from Serla Table worth $40. There's a layered lunchbox with utensils from Our Place worth $35. A Bright Angle Elixir Olive Oil Bottle, that looks really pretty, worth $56. A set of three votive candles from Ryan Porter worth $48. A woven scarf again with fringe worth $85 from Soya and Kyo. I may be saying that wrong. A satin bonnet duo from Glow by Day worth $40. And a Lily Pulitzer ceramic mug set, a duo worth $42. I ended up choosing the Lily Pulitzer ceramic mugs. I think they're so cute and giftable. They do come very well packed in a very wrappable box. So I wanted to show you that box too. These feel nice and sturdy. They don't feel light and chintzy at all. I love the floral detailing. It's really beautiful and cheery all at the same time. There's 
there's gold along the edge of the handle. Both mugs are identical, so you have a nice little duo here that would be really nice and cheery to drink coffee out of or tea in the morning. I think this would actually make a really thoughtful gift. I'm happier with these than I thought I would be. I, I don't know why. I kind of intended to gift these, but thinking I might keep them. We're now on category three, where all members, again, can select their product. You can choose from the Mason Tops Mason Jar Cocktail Shaker Kit worth $40. Kate Spade has a set of two stud earrings that is worth $68. That would make a really cute gift, I think. Dr. Brandt Skincare Collagen Serum is another choice worth $60. Michael Kors has a beanie with a little palm on top worth $48. And if you want to go the fitness route, there's a one pound angle ankle weight set from Coral worth $35. You could also choose the Bite Beauty Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick worth $28 or a makeup palette. It's the Lucky Glow Palette Volume 2 from True and Luscious worth $46. I'm not familiar with that brand. It looks like it's a face palette. This was an easy product selection for me because I've never tried this formula from Bite Beauty. I have the Power Move the Lip Crayon, but I loved their previous lipstick formula and once they reformulated everything and I saw that this was a matte formula. I just never tried it. I'm so picky about my matte lipsticks. As I get older, a lot of them can dry your lips out as the day goes on or just emphasize those little vertical lip lines. So this gave me the opportunity to finally try this. I was a little bit nervous about the shade because it's not indicated when you make your product selection. The shade that I received and that I've had on throughout this video is called Sugar Buns. I think this is a great fall and winter shade and I enjoy the way this feels. I've worn it prior to today. And for a long wearing bullet lipstick with a soft matte finish, I think it's nice looking. I don't find it to be unflattering or uncomfortable. So this was a pleasant surprise. I'm glad I finally got to try this lipstick formula. And this is a shade I probably wouldn't have picked up myself, but I'm glad I have it. All subscribers could also customize their product choice in category four. You could choose between the Way of Will Slim Deep Natural Toning Oil worth $37.50, Tula the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser worth $28, or three different Briogeo products. I love Briogeo. You could choose the Scalp Revival Charcoal Scalp Treatment worth $32, Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream worth $20, or the Farewell Frizz Heat Protectant worth $24. It seems like everyone raves about Tula, but I've only tried a couple of their products. So I decided to grab the Cult Classic Face Cleanser. I've been enjoying this. It's a gel-based cleanser. It's not stripping at all. It does a nice job of balancing my skin. It's got probiotics, prebiotics, and superfoods in it that are supposed to balance and nourish and help with skin texture. And so far, so good. This is a really big bottle. It's 6.7 ounces. I love new skincare discoveries. So you know, stay tuned for updates on this, but I've been liking it so far. Category five is our first category that will be curated by FabFitFun. If you're a seasonal subscriber and if you're an annual subscriber, you will be able to customize this section. You can choose from the Grown Alchemist Body Cream in the scent Rosemary Leaf for $26, the Vitamask Cranberry and Apple Sheet Mask Set for $24, the Vodum Teas Recovery Sample with a $25 value, or the Epair Milk Frother, a $24.95 value. So I went with the tea sampler that has 25 bags in it. I wasn't expecting it to have that many. I'm usually a coffee drinker, but in the fall and winter, I, I drink some hot tea and I thought it went really nicely with the mugs that I got. This would actually make a great little gift for somebody. There are several flavors in here. I've had a couple of them already. I've enjoyed them. So if you're a tea drinker, this might be right up your alley. Annual subscribers can customize their choice in category six, while seasonal subscribers will have their choice curated by FabFitFun. So the values are kind of all over the place in this category, and there's a couple of bundles, as well as some single products. I'll do the best I can with the information that I have. It could change by the time customization is open on November 2nd, the day after this goes up. I I'm not sure. Leave in the comments for me below what you end up choosing for any of these categories. I love hearing your experiences when you do your customization 
situations. So we have two bundles that are worth $39. One is for a fleece slipper and a pedicure file. The other is for fleece slippers and a chocolate bomb maker. The other bundle that I'm showing is for the pedicure file, the chocolate bomb maker, and a liquid eyeliner, and it's worth $51. You could also choose KVD Beauty's Go Big or Go Home Mascara worth $24, a Lucky Brand Solid Brushed Scarf worth $69.50, or Summer Friday's CC Me Serum worth $64. Then I'm showing a 500 count Oasis puzzle from Fitz Puzzles worth $24. I wasn't really sure what to pick for this category either, so I had to kind of put some strategic thought into it. I did choose this fleece slipper and chocolate bomb maker worth $39. I know that's not one of the highest values, but I was also thinking of my 16 year old during the holidays making chocolate bombs. I don't know, getting kind of creative there. And I mean, anyone can use some fleece slipper booty type things, whether I keep these or I give these to someone else. I just thought, you know, they'll end up somewhere, but you have several things to choose from here. So let's talk about the actual value out of my box, the value out of the items that I will keep or give as gifts, use in some way. Do I think I got the value out of my box and what, what are my final thoughts? So the value of my box with the products that I chose came to $211, which is a little bit lower than other boxes that I've gotten in the past. And part of that is because I didn't choose some of the highest value items in my box on purpose. Those just weren't what I was gravitating towards. But let's forget about that total value because not everybody uses every single product in their subscription boxes. It's kind of the point of subscription boxes is, you know, picking and choosing what you will use and what you won't. So out of the products that I'm actually going to keep and use or gift, what are, is the value of those products? I'm a beauty channel. Let's talk about the two beauty products first, this lipstick and cleanser. They are both worth $28 and they will get used. So right there, that pays for the cost of my box. I drink wine. I will be using this electric wine opener, but even if I wasn't using it myself, this would be gifted to someone. And I think these mugs are adorable. I am so much more excited about them than I thought I would be. Now, the value of those four products is $147. I'm happy with that. I think that's great. And all of those will get used. Now, I'll probably also drink this tea. I'm not counting that in this value. I very rarely count categories five and six in my total value. Those are extra products to me just for fun because the bulk of the value of these boxes, in my opinion, is in the first first four categories. So would I pay retail value for everything in this box? No, that's the point of a subscription box is being able to not pay retail value for these items or pay what you would at a discount place and get more for your money. You get to sample things. It's, it's fun. You get to try new things, maybe some things you wouldn't have tried at a minimal cost per product. So let me know what you think about this winter FabFitFun box, the last one of 2021. I love doing these FabFitFun unboxings with you each season. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!